life you carry one of Nathaniel Bass's chauffeur sounding sessions and play it and dance like a madman for three hours after that you water it down with tongues for another three hours go to bed and watch men in Lagos who will lose sleep listen I'm not exciting you I show you how men rise in this kingdom nobody has an advantage by default you make your advantage listen I don't come from a region where there is any advantage for you anywhere waiting for anybody one day to help you they will give you moral support they will give you all kinds of uh, uh, um, uh, brotherhood backing and it stops there if you don't know how to fish your portion out of life your coin is in the mouth of the fish but if you are not trained to catch it you will stand before Caesar you will stand before the tribute collectors in shame everything came out of the sea read your Bible including the birds of the air they came from the sea the water represents abundance and if you do not understand the mystery of doing business in deep waters to use the instrument of prayer and insist that your portion comes all kinds of contracts are flying around Lagos your your CV and your company proposal is on everybody's table do you not know that men are just men spirits reign spirits rule men are under the influence of spirits what do you think you are that they'll just look at your CV like that while you are sleeping someone is there fraternizing every part of his body to be used as an instrument of sacrifice and we snore our way into an assumption that makes us a flat tree that thinks things just happen <clears throat> have i not said ye are gods and all of you pastor are children of the most high but ye shall die like mere men let me tell you the truth there are people see the realm of the spirit has a register there are names that are written there as a track record of the havoc they cause to hell when they want something so as they have been noted for many years when they raise a prayer request hell leaves quickly because they have a track record of insisting they don't take no for an answer Archbishop Benson Idahosa said if your faith says yes God will not say no you can cry to the God of heaven hallelujah I had the privilege to visit that the Jews prayer room and while I was there I was given an opportunity alone to lie down there I said Lord whatever you did to this man he has a covenant of answered prayer all this praying one year for something small lord let us tap into this grace that shift nations in a day i pray that among the many graces someone will receive tonight is this the quickening the spirit of prayer and supplication listen please hear me i challenge every man here if your priesthood fails your family must die your children must know you as a man of prayer it has nothing to do with i'm busy one night let them all be sleeping while you pray honey where are you going no it's priesthood sleep i paid your dowry sleep these are the kinds of men we are raising not just people with money here and there and they sit down and allow no you open the room of your children you lay hands they want to wake up say no no, no just sleep sleep let me see the devil that comes to the spiritual circumference of my home. You hear a sound, you wake your wife and say, go and check. Check for what? Your child, you pay a school fees of one million. Your child returns with an evil report. Evil report. Flogging that child is not the way out. Carry that child to your secret place. She passed Koba. Embrace the toast. 
No, the memory of the just is blessed. Where did this nonsense come from? She last caparatosia and break it as capadashiata. Listen, listen, let me tell you what will happen. One day, your son will follow you while you are praying. He will join you. You will tell him, go and sleep. He will say no. Then one day you will travel and your son will wake up at that time and be playing around alone. You are already mentoring the priesthood dimension of your children. Listen, I tell you sincerely by God, if we let anything happen to our prayer lives, we will lose a generation. There are many nonsense. Even if you are feeling sleepy, sleep in the place of prayer. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Apostle, I know so many people in Lagos. My uncle is a commissioner. The other one is this. <laughs> Ziba, Ziba, who was sent, are we Bible students? Ziba was sent by David to go to Lodeba, right? And bring anyone in the family of Saul. The Bible says Ziba had 15 children and the king did not ask him to bring one of his children. Yet he sent him to Lodeba to go and carry a crippled man called Mephibosheth. Every helper has relatives in need. Whatever will make your destiny helper leave his relatives and come to you must be prophesied from the realm of the spirit. Let me speak to someone. I stand by the God of heaven and by the spirit of prophecy. Between now and the end of this year, I call the helpers of your destiny. Appear now. Appear now. Please sit down. There are pastors that don't pray. It's nothing wrong with watching TV. But you watch TV, you watch football, you browse, you finish up with a movie and get up and just jot one or two things in a note. No, sir. You are contending against powers. As members come, don't just look at their clothes. There are spirits hanging on people's destinies that are the mercy of a track record of real fire. There are things you cannot fake. That someone comes to your service just when you are sharing the grace and he says, my God, I came late. But the kind of fire burning there was so much that even your coming late was still an advantage. You become a flame of fire. You visit someone. You visit a shop. Give me a bottle of minerals. Just because you held the bottle from that shop, as soon as you go, the owner of the shop will notice that people started coming. What happened? You took the just that act of drinking a bottle of mineral was a deliverance to that person because you have now become the ark of God literally it is not only the house of Obed Edom you go to anywhere so why won't someone invite you to his office and say just sit down here sir he won't tell you that's why he brought you they have studied the antecedents and they have seen that God is with you Rabbi, we know that thou art a man sent from God, for no man can do these things except. Let me tell you, if you do not carry fire, it's unfair for men to need you. Why should they need you? Prayer. Please, if your prayer life has gone down in this conference, trust the Lord. Trust the Lord that one of the graces that must rest upon you is that grace for prayer. We spend half the time we should use praying, begging people only God can talk to. They are like the unrighteous judge. They take your CV, they take your contract letter, and while you, you 
shut the door they just smile and fold it and throw it in the trash can and you are there giving thanks to god and saying it's in the office prayer will force him to bring your that city out of that dustbin he will leave his house and come back the moment he wants to forget the spirit of prophecy will come on his wife and say honey remember you said you will help that man let's wrap up this issue of prayer with one revelation nothing just happens please say it with me nothing you don't just make money men don't just come your ministry doesn't just grow <clears throat> a territory doesn't just hear you because you have something to say every time pastor nathaniel blows that that thing you see is not an instrument it's an altar because it releases the covenant that he has with god there are specific things god has told him that when the shofar is lifted you are hearing music but he's invoking the grace that backs the covenant he has with god see am i blessing you tonight you have to listen to this thing this night once and for all let's deal with some things the only promise you will give me is that you will put these things to use listen pastor solomon is dedicating the temple in jerusalem and solomon stands before the priests the men holding the instruments of worship and enters a covenant with god he says now arise O lord and come to your resting place and solomon prays that anyone who prays facing jerusalem whether the prayer is accurate or not that there is a covenant that vetoes their weaknesses and that god should listen so one time when the medes and the persians the prayer of daniel began to interrupt the powers that be in government they now put a rule in parliament that for 30 days there should be no prayer daniel knew that at that point you know it looks like he prayed with boldness he was afraid too at that point he could not depend on his personal convictions so he had to align with the covenant of solomon and he opened the window to jerusalem it's in your bible that by two immutable things it is impossible god can enter a covenant with a man of god to honor him every time he prays for the sick assuming i have that kind of covenant with god do you know if the spirit of god is not moving to heal and out of my ego i decide to move god will still honor that covenant and deal with me later on in the place of prayer but for that time being he cannot deny himself this is why using results and manifestation to judge a man can be dangerous because there are times that what happens is not a true testimony of his secret place it's simply the advantage of the covenant that backs his office so you must pray you must pray go back home and tell your loved ones i've found the key to this argument all the time i've found the cure to it why we never agree couples never agree when they don't pray i guarantee you because you when you come down to the realm of the flesh you are operating by sophia human knowledge it's an argumentative knowledge it's knowledge that is based on voting and fighting but there is wisdom that comes from above if all you do is to eat together and you don't pray you will still be in trouble how many people do not pray over businesses enter a house and say thank god minus god minus something you know those those expensive destiny things and we play with it like this plus god minus set out some, something like that please we must wake up in the name of jesus christ we must wake up we must wake up master the art of raising incense in the night in the economy of god the night starts before the morning you are already late when you wake up in the morning great men do business with god and at midnight paul and silas they understood that mystery ah they were waiting jayla keep talking your nonsense we understand at midnight paul and silas they prayed and sang an evening and the morning came day one an evening and morning came day two not morning and evening by morning you are already too late 
because every day is like a woman with a womb she has 24 hours to give birth and the pregnancy time starts by night arranging the stars to your pleasing you must understand the mystery of spiritual legislation the ability to route spiritual realities and bring your life to the obedience of Christ you must know how to pray until victory is birthed you don't pray until you are tired you pray until there is peace and sometimes that peace can come in 30 minutes sometimes that peace can come in two weeks you must trust God for grace to stay to stay I, I don't know what but I'm, I'm sensing you may say like the spirit of death your little boy comes and says, daddy I don't know but I had a dream I saw people crying ah, it's all right Nigeria we've been crying since January that kind of wise saying approach to life will cause a lot of fatality your life you carry one of Nathaniel Bassi's chauffeur sounding sessions and play it and dance like a madman for three hours after that you water it down with tongues for another three hours go to bed and watch men in Lagos who will lose sleep listen I'm not exciting you I show you how men rise in this kingdom nobody has an advantage by default you make your advantage listen I don't come from a region where there is any advantage for you anywhere waiting for anybody one day to help you they will give you moral support they will give you all kinds of uh, uh, um, uh, brotherhood backing and it stops there if you don't know how to fish your portion out of life the coin is in the mouth of the fish but if you are not trained to catch it you will stand before caesar you will stand before the tribute collectors in shame everything came out of the sea read your bible including the birds of the air they came from the sea the water represents abundance and if you do not understand the mystery of doing business in deep waters